How do you do it, you mean? It's easy to tell you how to do it, and it's amazing how few people do it right. You do it in darkness, on an empty stomach, in silence, and alone. Doesn't sound like much fun, does it? <laughs> it isn't. Yes, although to really see, psilocybin works in darkness. The visions, I mean, a, a full moon night is absolutely stunning on a psychedelic, no question about it. But the Mazatecans and, and Zapotecan Indians, all the Ayahuascaros we ever dealt with in the Amazon, it was all about getting into the hut, closing the door, blankets over the windows, dousing the light. They didn't do it alone. They did it in large groups, and it's all a, for himself, yeah. But if you did it alone, you were considered a shaman, I think. I think that's a lower dose. Most people who take mushrooms and claim knowledge of what mushrooms are about are, t are talking about the two to three gram level. The game doesn't begin till you reach five grams. And the thing to remember when you're calculating dose and also once you're loaded is that it can't kill you. It can only convince you that it can kill you. <laughs> so, you know, to take five grand, to take six or eight grams is pretty terrifying. There's no reason why you couldn't take 50, 60, 70 grams. I'm not advocating it. I would never do it. it I, the, but it's because of your mind, not your body. It isn't a danger to your body. In the controversy about MDMA that has gone back and forth many different ways. I said of psilocybin, here's a drug that's perfectly safe and makes you think you're dying every time you take it. MDMA, on the other hand, it never enters anybody's mind that there might be a problem and actually they're brushing right up against the Grim Reaper. So that's a funny... And when it convinces you, when psilocybin convinces you that you're dying, there is not one iota of doubt left. It, it doesn't partially convince you. It entirely convinces you. And then you just go through it, you know. It doesn't always do that, but it's good to expect it to do that because you don't want to be caught by surprise by that particular deal of the deck, you know.